It has been a few months since we got our Ranger 1000 side by side here and we have literally used it every single day since. So today we wanted to do an update video with you guys to kind of talk about what we've been using it for and to show you some cool accessories that we will be installing. When we first got it, I, I was excited because I was like, oh, I got a, a new toy. But it ended up being much more than that. We, we really use it for everything on the homestead here. We've used it for transporting wood. I built a, uh, a platform for my pop-up blind that I was able to haul you know, several hundred yards back into the woods. Otherwise, there's been no way I could have gotten it back there. We haul deer feed in it. We haul animal feed in it, supplies. We hauled a deer in it. We hauled a deer in it. <laughs> Literally every task has been that much easier. Even the day-to-day -day stuff. Yeah. Like feeding the animals every day. We have their feed in the bed of the side-by-side -side here and it makes it very easy just to drive around to their different pens, feed them out of the back of the, uh, of the bed here and then just keep going. It definitely is a muscle for us here on the homestead. Me being about five foot and a hundred odd-ish pounds. Um, you know, I've got a little bit of muscle, but not quite enough to do big homestead chores. So when Robert's out at work during the day, I'm able to put this thing to work. I've used the winch to help me move big items like the pig enclosure from pen to pen. And it just has made things that were nearly impossible, if not impossible, possible for someone like me. So this has been probably one of our better investments here on the homestead this far. So with that said, when you start doing tasks out of this thing every day, multiple times a day, it starts to fill it with little odds and ends here and there. I mean, it has, if you go back to our previous video, we go over how many cup holders it has <laughs> in it. And it, it, I think it has like eight or 10 cup holders in this little, you know, one row side by side. Uh, but all of them right now are filled up with stuff that is not a cup. So right now if I got in it and I wanted to carry my water around with me, it would sit between my legs. So today I think we're gonna do a little bit of organizing. Yep. yep. Our friends over at Kimimoto sent us some new accessories to put to use here on our side-by-side -side, and we're excited to open them up and install them and show you guys the process. So the people at Kimimoto saw one of our previous videos and probably noticed that this thing was full of stuff and we could use some extra storage. They're kind enough to reach out to us and send us one of their, or actually two of their bed boxes. So we're gonna go ahead and open these things up, see what comes inside the bed box, install it, and just show you guys their capacity and maybe give you some ideas on, on how you might could use them. So this is the smaller of the two bed boxes. Comes in a plastic wrap, fairly well packaged. First impression, heavy duty plastic. It's got a uh, watertight compartment. It does have a rubber seal around the inside of the lid so that when you shut it down, um, unless you were to like submerge this underwater, I don't think any rainwater, uh, regardless of how hard it's raining, is getting into this. So not only is it waterproof, it's animal and rodent proof. So if you've got animal feed or snacks or whatever that you're gonna store in here and you're gonna park your side by side, um, this would be a good place to keep those type of items. Or if you have tools that you just are going to keep in here, little hand tools or power tools that you want to keep out of the ring, again, a perfect compartment. Inside of this one, it does come with a cable and a combination lock. So uh, if you're going to go trail riding or you're going to park somewhere where you know, it might be susceptible to theft, um, you could secure this to the side-by-side -side so that nobody can break into it. After that brief intermission, we had to, we had to clean out these bed rails uh, so that this would actually fit into place and install. Go in extremely easy. They just slide into place into the, into the bed rail here and then um, it's locked down. Is there's actually space underneath it so that you could still slide like a, a shovel or, or something small underneath this box. And they've designed it so that it is easily accessible from the outside of the bed. So you can just walk up to the side of the side by side and get into, get into it. 
and it will install anywhere around this bed so you have options as to where where you're going to put it you can set up for your own personal use where it's most convenient okay so this next one is the larger of the two boxes they sent us i need to look at and see if they have like a quart side or capacity or, or something i don't know they might i know they sent us two this one is the larger the bigger one so this one is set up slightly different this one is designed to go behind the driver's seat you see it's got the install pegs it would still be easily accessible from the outside of the bed again it's got the rubber gasket so that when it's closed it seals tight it's water it's watertight it's still lightweight so it's not gonna add a ton of extra weight to the bed of your side by side and there's plenty of storage in here but as far as like putting tools in here you could easily fit like a battery powered handsaw or drills or other accessories down in there again stuff that if you're going to be out and they might get rain on them or you just don't want them rolling around the bed of your side by side this would be perfect for storing that kind of stuff so these boxes do fit fairly secure into the bed rails however they're plastic and the bed is plastic and so if you're riding trails or driving around you might think well that thing's gonna rattle all over the place it's gonna make a bunch of noise however they took that into consideration and they um, included these little rubber bump stops so that if it is rattling a little bit it's rubber on plastic and it's not a you know a nuisance back there um, yeah these little rubber bump stops would be good for for reducing noise and, and rattling and whatnot all right so we have a little bit of rearranging to do to get these guys in their proper position. We have switched all of our feed bags over to five gallon buckets, which has really helped keep the food more fresh. And because we have some rodents that like to live out in the country, it keeps everything good and safe and secure. So adding these boxes will just be that much better. Um, we have some little like snack bags, treat bags, that kind of thing that will go perfectly in these. So we're gonna get this all cleaned out and reset and see what it looks like. saying so easy a caveman can do it even a dumb dumb from Texas like me can figure it out um, these things literally take seconds to install you just lift them up and slide them into place and they're ready for use you should be able to lift the bed up all the way and these things didn't move at all they don't even act like they want to fall out I told you this thing gets used every day every day it's full of feed and hay and dirt and mud I was gonna, to. I was gonna clean it before we did the video, but this is real life. This is real life. Yeah, like we use this thing at least twice a day to go feed. Um, if you guys have any stickers you want to send us, we're trying to outfit the side by side with all of our favorite bumper stickers. We have a post office box address in the description box below so if you guys have any cool stickers that you want to contribute to our side by side, check it out and send us some. Pretty sure we just increased the value of this by at least five thousand dollars <laughs> maybe double what we bought it for <laughs> no in, in, in all actuality these things are nice i would recommend these to anybody looking for uh, a bed box for their side by side just a quick tour so we've got these two bed boxes with little hand tools and accessories that were just put in the cup holders or laying in the bed back here and then we've got all of our different five gallon buckets with our different feed we have pig feed, chick feed, rabbit feed, their hay, water, scoop, accessories, things like that. So everything back here is nice and organized. And then we got our cup holders back. I mean, standing right here, I can see six, six empty cup holders. We have all the drinks. That's awesome. All right, so that's it. Our side-by-side -side is organized. 
We've got our new Kimimoto bed boxes and I think I'd say we're pretty happy with them. Yeah, it's definitely gonna make things a lot more organized and functional so that we don't have to worry about things getting messy or out of place. They'll definitely come in handy, so we're excited to put them to use. Yep. Stay tuned for the next video. We do have one more product from Kimimoto that they send us that we are really excited about, something that will definitely be useful on this side-by-side -side as well. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.